back to my channel. As you saw the title of this video, yes, what I eat in a day, you guys requested it, so here it is. Every morning I like to start off with lots of water. You know, a lot of people do lime water, lemon water, whatever you want to call it. I do it here and there, so this is really a realistic what I eat in a day because, let's be real, a lot of them are very fancy pantsy and I'm not about that life. I just go with the flow, as you see, drinking nice cold water and it just has great health benefits. I know it's great for digestion and there's nothing like great cold water, but yeah. <music> Okay, so it's a little later in the day. I love myself some coffee. Who doesn't like caffeine? I mean, not everybody likes coffee, let's be real. So I'm just showing you pretty much what I got. Excuse the wine bottle. That was for a little bit later. But you know the drill. So iced coffee is my preference, especially in the summertime. But honestly, I love iced coffee all year around. So yeah, I'm going to show you pretty much my go-to coffee. It changes up a bit. As you can see, I got my mason jar and yes that's a bag of ice you see because our fridge doesn't have an ice maker so we just go with the flow I got my Starbucks iced coffee the unsweetened kind I just give it a little bit of shake so you get that it's the medium roasted just pour that baby up because it's one of my favorites you know um, but yeah after that, I use a little bit of a splash, I would say, of vanilla almond milk. This is just Aldi brand, no big deal. I feel like almond milk is just almond milk. It's really a preference, just a splash to give it a bit of a flavor. Then I go in with the silk almond creamer. Um, I ran out, so I kind of poured the whole thing. That's just the sweet cream. I also like the vanilla kind. Just a little goes all along the way for that one. And of course, my half and half. Just a splash as well. I like to just mix and match, you know? I mean, it's like getting a Starbucks order, really. Like half of this, half of that, a splash of that. You know the drill. And after that, I just like to get my metal straw. I will link up down below. They're just from Amazon. It comes in a pack of five, I believe. And they're just great. Helps the environment and all that good stuff. And there you have it. That's my morning iced coffee. That's really my favorite. And I drink it pretty much every single day. So moving on to breakfast, I like me some avocado toast. I feel like this is my favorite bread from Trader Joe's. You will need some butter, everything but the bagel seasoning that everyone just freaking loves and I know why. Uh, avocado, some crushed pepper, and some honey. I know the camera's not focusing but honey is the secret weapon in this. So let's get to it. You obviously need a toaster, so let's toast my favorite bread, as you see. This is just the sour bread dough from Trader Joe's brand. You can get this pretty much anywhere. I already cut my avocado, as you can see. Wow, so perfect. I love it. We're only going to use half of it because it's kind of big. Um, so we're just going to let that toast for a little bit, and you will see how I make my avocado toast. I kid you not, it's one of my favorites. As I wait for my toast, I pretty much like to slice my avocado into all these little bit, bits and pieces and sections, if you want to call it that way. After that, I grab my toast, as you can see, nice and toasty. This is going to be my secret ingredient. I like to add a little bit of butter, just gives it that little salty extra kick, and a little goes a long way, like they say. I know it seems like a lot, but trust me, it melts, but this is just something that I recently started to do on my sour bread dough, which is amazing. Then I obviously put the avocado. Yes, it's a little messy. Let's be real because this is pretty much a real deal situation. And a lot of people like to go fancy with it and put it like in a separate bowl and then smash it. But why go through that and clean extra plates that you don't need? So as I spread my avocado, clearly the messiest, but it's okay. I like to get every single little edge because you want to make sure it's nice and mushy. You don't want big hard pieces because it's kind of like a guacamole. 
actually why did I say it like that it's kind of like a guacamole and of course I like to go in with my bagel seasoning so good the only reason I grabbed it like that is because I a lost the cap and since I'm coming to an end I think it kind of stuck at the bottom so I don't want to get too much salt or too much pepper because then um, that's not cute then I like to use my crushed peppers. Oh my god, this just gives it an extra kick. I know a lot of people don't like spiciness, but girl, I love me some spiciness. And of course, last but not least, my honey. I saw this Kyler Jenner thing on TikTok, wanted to try it out myself, and I loved it. I usually just do it on one bread because I like to switch it off here and there. But it's like the perfect sweetness guys it may look nasty but i love 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 and that's my breakfast that's my avocado toast and trust me guys it is so delicious so it's a little later in the day i thought i would show you what i take i take vitamin c i started just doing this not so long ago maybe three weeks ago now i am okay with the brand i don't really know much about the brand but it says number one doctors recommend and so i thought i would pick it up show you i don't really snack around the day so i just wanted to throw this in there vitamin c boost my immune system because corona's out there still and flu season's coming up so i thought i would just show you what I take as a supplement. So I'm just gonna take it with some water. Just, you know, I wanna be healthy and beat this virus because I think we're all sick of 2020. Am I wrong? Okay, so lunchtime, yes. I went out because it's Friday and I usually like to eat something on Fridays. So yours truly went to Culver's. I got their yummy fries because I love their fries. I got the chicken sandwich, so we meet again, damn right. And of course, I like to drink this Bella Vibe something sparkling water, the blackberry cucumber, my favorite. It's from Aldi, so I thought I would just, you know, eat real quick and yeah also does anybody's dogs just love to stare at them while they eat well clearly my little one does just look at her she wants that fry <laughs> Oh my god, so I literally lost track of time. I clearly forgot to film how I make my dinner, but anywho, I got some white jasmine rice, a piece of salmon, and some veggies. This is my dinner, guys. Sorry. Hey, so I thought I would interrupt the voiceover because clearly I was too busy with work, multitasking, school, and all that good stuff that I forgot to show you how I do my salmon and my vegetable, my dinners, and all that good stuff. So with my salmon, oh my god, my mouth is like literally watering. So with my salmon, I just do salt and pepper, garlic. Um, I pretty much cook it on a frying pan with olive oil and a little bit of butter. It just gives it that extra kick. I did some jasmine rice and my vegetables are just salt and pepper, um, broccoli and mushrooms. And that's about it. I'll probably put some soy sauce and that's about it guys. Maybe some lime on my salmon. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not. Follow me on the gram and I will see you until my next one. Bye!